Hi, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Kima, Natural Kima, and as you can tell by the title, what I'm gonna be talking about, um, I got obviously by the time at USC, I got some seafood with me, but right now it's it's chilling on the side of me because it is super hot. Like I had to um warm it up, so I overkilled it with the seafood, but. I got some hush puppies as well. I'm gonna eat them. Okay, I'm gonna put them right here. My mom was kind enough to let me have some of her, so yeah. But um, as you can tell by the title, this is a get to know me Q and A. I'm about to be real soon at 1K, so I'm just figuring to just go ahead and make it now because I'm like not that far from it. My eyes, my eye looks really kind of red if you notice because I just got out of the shower I washed my hair that's why the white stuff is in my hair because I put some stuff in it so anytime you see that it's that it has to obviously dry so I just wanted to put that in here but um let's get started first we're gonna do a little prayer I'm gonna let you take the first bite. So, go ahead and take the first bite. <laughs> I don't know. Thumbnail purpose, you know, I might put both on there. So, anywho, um, so the first thing that I'm going to actually. that she's gonna say is my name so my first name is actually kimani but i got you guys calling me kimo because that's my own little nickname growing up i had another nickname it was never kiki well actually i like my first nickname was kiki my mom even got it tatted on her but they changed it to another nickname but as i got older i'm like why do i have to go by that nickname if i can just make up my own so and then it's a group that actually had a girl nicknamed kima well i don't know if that was nicknamed or that was her real name um it's r&b group so i was like that'd be dope if i just did that so yeah that's where the Kima came from. So that's that. Okay. Um The next thing is how old I am. I am twenty four. But in a couple days I will be twenty five. So Um, leading to that, I am a Libra. Shout out to all the Libras that are going to watch this. Sun, moon, and rising. You're lit, period. Um, I might actually do a video like that. Like, like, like some type of, like, role play of Zodiacs. Because I've seen it done. And... I think I would actually kill that because I'm really like into astrology and I think I pretty much got pretty much everybody down bad for the most part the ones that I know of like really down bad I don't really know too many Pisces or I could say yeah I don't know too many Pisces or Cancer so I might not do them too and I know that's kind of jacked up because it's like why do this why do some if you're not gonna do all but anyway I'm just throwing that in there okay something just fell on the floor great i have to clean that <laughs> oh my so the next thing is color my favorite color is lime green lime green so <clears throat> i gotta give y'all an example lime green that is my favorite color um, it's been my favorite color for a while now. Um, since I was like really young. I 
I just think everything with green is beautiful, like money. <laughs> I love. And just everything, it just seems, it's not a color that, I mean, green is everywhere, but lime green is not a color that you can just find everywhere. So I think that's why I got like really like fascinated with it. It's bright, it's like yellow, kind of like it's like bright, like, oh my gosh, pretty. So that's why like it just reminded me of myself because it's like so like <sighs> like um what's the word i'm trying to find to say it's so like it's like an underdog if you can say it like that so i like it okay um favorite food would be baked macaroni i love macaroni in general but there's like top notch the younger self of me would say pizza but the older self macaroni i love macaroni i've been loving macaroni for um, my whole life um yeah macaroni is just lit <laughs> um favorite thing to do i love to listen to music and as people that don't know i'm a really good dancer just throwing that out there <laughs> so yeah i would say those two go hand in hand so yeah dancing and listening to music it can be any drama world like i love reggae i love um like festival music i love obviously rap r&b right uh is that right game um i love um i can't think of the word i don't want to sound ignorant but i listen to a lot of um i can't think of the word that i'm trying to think of that will identify what it is but uh fuck sorry i shouldn't have said that um damn just Latino music, damn. I'll just say that. <laughs> I don't know what the word that's actually identifying. I forgot, but anyway. Yeah. Um, pet peeve, things I hate. So I hate. I actually hate this. I hate people talking while they have muffled. So that's why I'm going like this. I'm trying to do both. I don't know how people do this. <laughs> To be honest because it's like it's so hard like how do you not talk and that's why i'm like but i hate what else do i hate i hate loud talkers like super super loud like if you don't need to like i can see if you're excited or something like that but just anything super loud like don't like that i don't like ghetto like super ghetto like i know i do my real bellies but i do not act like that in real life it's acting <laughs> but um I don't like super ratchet people like can't take everywhere like like no when to do it like I can see if we like you know turned up at a party or something like that but if you just act like that all the time I don't like that um what else I don't like I don't like mean people like I, I don't understand I'm just mean for no reason but I'm um, willing you know Sorry, but it's like some weird noise outside. No. Um I hate fuck boys. Okay, that's it in the pet peeves. I'll probably make another one in the future. Do more in detail, but yeah, that's that. Um what else can I talk about? One of my future goals, I guess. I guess I can say that. Um, one of my future goals, like in the future or near future, would definitely be to be more popular on YouTube. I would say recommend it because. I constantly look at my 
analytics and see like how I'm doing and stuff. And it seems like I can get people on my channel. It's just more so like actually subscribing and you know showing love, like commenting. It had like some sauce on it at first, but I had to warm it up, so I guess it like dissolved. But anyway, <laughs> it's still pretty hot. But like I was saying, um, I would I would just have that as the goal because it's almost at ten. It's at ten minutes. I would have that as my goal. You know, have more like real supporters and not people just coming for a certain video and then bounce because that's so annoying. Like, and then ask a million times for that particular video and it's like you can't even support the other ones like why are you here like and I'll just go in detail on another video about that but so that'll be one of them um childhood if I could go back to childhood what one thing would I would like to go back and do so me personally I had I had a, a right childhood I would say like I didn't do anything too too crazy but if I can go back to like one like moment of being lit and then like thinking about it, it's like dang I had the ones the times that I did have it's like it's with a people that I don't talk to every day so that sucks too but I'm gonna mention one of them it was like one time where I was like with my cousin that I don't speak to anymore and like we were out at my grandma's house and we were just lit and we ended up getting picked up by our older cousin and he took us to be dubs and we was just lit the whole night like i that's like one of my favorite mo memories because i was with family that i talked to at one point in time i was really cool with another one would be on my 16th birthday i had my, my mom had got me a party bus the best hotel in my city i had got that rented out um went out to eat it was just lit that was a big deal because people in my city they would have to rent it out with other people paying for it like that was a big deal being at that time so party bus is like it's still people to this day that never been on a party bus um i just thought it was cool that i was able to do that and um my mom was able to do that for me and i was able to have people on the bus that were appreciative like to this day people are still thankful that i that was a potato it's so hot i'm sorry <laughs> i still appreciative because if it wasn't for me they would have never experienced it you know so that's like another one okay seasoning it's kind of like spicy uh -huh. so um what's another one i think i regret okay so <laughs> it's a night that i regret and i'll probably do that as a story time like i want to be open with you guys and then i'll probably regret talking about it years from now but actually it's a bigger cause to it and at the end of the day i did what i did i might not go in full full detail of what i did that night but i got too drunk and i was being too grown for my age and i shouldn't have done what i did so i regret that um and yeah i will talk about it but i regret um when i was young getting drunk and doing stuff i wasn't supposed to be doing so <laughs> anyway um i'll talk about that in the story time do i have a first love um yes i do um i actually still have each other on facebook as friends still to this day like i shouldn't say we keep in touch <laughs> like we're still cool um due to certain circumstances we didn't end up being together but if it wasn't for certain circumstances i think actually we probably would have been together still and probably would have had a kid by now like that's how much i loved him i still have love for him but just not in that way do I have any advice for relationships? I'm um, starting off. Um, I would say, right, okay. So, like, if you have a crush on somebody, I would say, no, 
your intention and your intention so that's it eggs are always the best part of seafood boy i don't care what nobody said no it's the corn and then it's that okay so anyway know your intention first like don't just go on um, lust because truth be told a lot of like the people that are like really like fine or like popular like people that like them like like people like you know like the popular person in school and stuff like that truth be told a lot of those people get tired of that and that'll be another story time for another time but like working at schools and stuff like me working at them i got to meet a lot of high schoolers and stuff like even when i graduated and you'll be surprised how many people like go through certain stuff and it's just like oh you're popular you're perfect but no just because they're all oh, and bowed down to doesn't mean they're perfect or right. oh dang it got some stuff on my shirt I don't mean they like it so anyway i'm just saying that to say like people get tired of being only admired by their physical so again be be like be honest with yourself your intentions with the person and you know just know if it's really because you really like them like you know them or something like that you know like you pay attention to them because you can just easily be friends with somebody you know like if you're too scared to even do that then nowadays i feel like it, maybe that's a sign that you probably shouldn't i don't know because i was go by goat feeling nowadays like you have to because it's really crazy out here and you don't want to be in a particular moment where you're like crushing over somebody like oh mm. and then you end up actually when you do have some type of um guts and then they end up being a sucky person like that sucks that's why i like i said it's too much social media i'm not saying stalk them but add them as a friend not go to tell you as a friend if you can or if you work with them like i said talk to them go up to them like hey how you doing like i work here too da, da, da. don't be weird but you know what i'm saying love corn i'm sorry i was trying to make a thumbnail but hold on let me see anyway <laughs> okay so like i was saying yeah like that would be your best bet I'm just crushing on somebody. Like, just something like that. I don't know, like I said, find out, you know, by looking at what they retweet or if you're on Instagram, what they dress like, what they like, stuff like that. So you can know then, like, is this um kind of like a vibe? You know, you still won't know until you actually talk to people. But like I said, they can help yourself as much as, you know, helping them, like, not waste their time and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. If y'all already talking, sorry. If y'all already in the talking stage, I feel like it's the same thing. But just get to know each other. Don't rush it. Um, know that if something's meant to be, it's gonna be. Like, and know that everything is risky life happens so if y'all don't end up working out it should never be to the point where you hate each other or something like that i know i said do something about this but it's like i don't know like I just, like i said if you take your time you'll see the signs ahead of time so if the person ain't, ain't, it could have been avoided you know that's how i feel people just don't be wanting to look at the signs but you know if they do end up doing something like really jacked up and you didn't see those lines then you know even then like once you get calmed down and stuff still wish them the best you know because life was too short and carrying around extra hate for somebody that 
ain't even on your on your level and like i said things are risky so no way is perfect so at the end of the day it is what it is you know don't let that just learn from it every situation you go into like when you're talking and talking stage or even dating you're supposed to learn something about yourself learn what you don't like what you do like so like i said when you go into another situation you will know ahead of time this is what you can talk about and stuff that's why i said it's important like be friends like get to know them first like even if you're crushing because where are they going unless they have somebody you know and like i said if it's meant for you it's not gonna pass you so people be trying to rush everything so much and i can say that because i've been there so i know this one is hard as heck i wish i could see this it is so hard but i'm still gonna eat it though <laughs> so yeah if y'all want some more detail on relationship stuff, I would definitely hit me up or tell me, speak about it a little bit more because I know more detail, but I don't want this video to go over hell. So, let's see. Um, school advice. I know I'm kind of like all over the place. Um, it just depends. Like, if you're a freshman, which... I would think so because I don't have any kids on my channel. So if you're a freshman in high school or something like that, I would say best advice to you is the same thing I would make advice to even if you were in college. Make friends, you know, do what, do what you feel will make you comfortable, but don't rely on it. Like you are there to get... <laughs> good grades <laughs> okay like you're there to accomplish that like people get so wrapped up in trying to fit in even in college like you'll be surprised like that's where a lot of people end up finding their true selves like some people it doesn't work in in high school like they actually gotta wait till they get into college so i would just say like rely on that you know rely on being you and and you know like i said if you meet people like social get your social skills up don't uh sit up there and make it your whole life because that's when you get your feelings hurt when you're trying to rap or be so more focused on friends and stuff than you know, your actual school life you don't want to do that so that's my best advice um if you have a counselor make it your mission to meet them so because you're gonna need one probably <laughs> Especially with this time. No, I'm joking, but for real. Right? There's nothing wrong with talking to a counselor about issues that you might have. So, how do you get? It's definitely staying my chin. Okay. The older you get, you're definitely going to need somebody to talk to. And sometimes you can't talk to people the same age as you because they don't get it. They're trying to find themselves to try to you know be grown and stuff so yeah that's my advice to you that yeah, was kind of short but like i said i have to make another video about that another time all right um like i said same thing with college um same thing you're there for a reason accomplish that for the most part okay next one i know it's supposed to be to know me but i guess it was supposed to be fitted in to that <laughs> you know giving you guys advice that's why i wanted to oh i might as well say it. so um have i been in college or would i go to college so me personally i actually have been to college i actually enjoyed it i can't wait to go back that's one of the things i do want to go back to and do i want to be like a, a therapist counselor or something like that if not, for something, a second choice would be like a business owner or something like that. Like, I've already had a taste of owning a business, a small business. So, yeah, that's like something I would do. But I definitely want to go back in school for sure. Like, I get great and. It was just fun. Like, I love the freedom of it. Like, feeling like I'm accomplishing something. It was like the best feeling. So, do I believe 
college for everybody. You know I was gonna do that. Um, I don't know. Sorry. Take that little sippy sip. <laughs> I don't know about that saying because I feel like people only say that college isn't for them when they haven't tried. Like, excuse me. I feel like the only way you won't know, the only way you'll know if college is for you is if you try. Like you, if you went out and did it. But I will say the reason I say I don't know is because. It's a lot of people that are successful that haven't been. So it's like, with this day and age, it's like, do you really even need it? I mean, people are finding social skills. People are finding out about history. While I'm on social media, like, and just networking. So, I mean, like, obviously, even with businesses and stuff, I. People are here getting their uh, LLC license and all that. But how going? So, I'm gonna drop the girl. Alright. So, I don't know. Um, but I won't sleep on it though. Well, certain careers and stuff you have to go to school for. So, um,. I'm tearing this part up. So, I won't sleep on it. I won't listen to people saying that it's not for me. Because I hate that. Like, I you know something's not for you if you've never been. <laughs> like, it just sounds so stupid. It sounds like a cop out. If you don't want to go, you don't want to go. <laughs> baby, it's not baby. So, anyway. Um, yeah. So, only you will know whatever path you want to do. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's that. What's another thing? Oh, anxiety. Um, or depression and all that stuff. Um, any advice? I would say getting out of the house. Like, most people, when they get um, depression and stuff like that, they stay in the house, which I can admit to myself. Excuse me. I'm doing. But with me, I like to listen, like I said, to listen to music and stuff like that. So, I don't know, you would just personally have to know yourself. Like, that's the thing. Um, everybody's not the same. Some people do drugs, which I would never recommend to be the coping case because if you don't have that, then what you gonna do? You know, so, you know, that's why I said, like, it's kind of best to start off, like, especially, like, when you're younger, to be able to talk to somebody because most people don't have nobody they can trust and talk to about stuff like that. They don't want to open up because they're told that it's weird and stuff like that. Or, I don't know, what could be the reason, but, I don't know, like, most traumas and stuff start when you're a kid. So... Yeah, I would say, if you can, find somebody you can talk to. But you don't want to be that person that's always just coming to people with you got problems. Like, don't use nobody like them, that's it. You know, if you are, then get a counselor. It's your best bet. But like I said, um, it's pretty much just yourself. Like, just sitting down. Like, a lot of people don't know how to just stay still. Because when you stay still, that means you have to actually think. Uh, some people don't want to think because when you think, it makes you think about the stuff you did. Did good, did bad. And even, like, just in general, like, where you are in your life. It makes you, can make you feel like it's just like, again, you're in your head. So, anywho, um, like I said, and that can be kind of, like, tricky, but... Sometimes, like I said, you, you probably do need to sit down and figure out what you like to do so you can, you know, get out of that funk. And maybe, like I said, even get some help, right? Because, like I said, it's just like anything. Like, even with me dancing and stuff like that, I know that that's not really... It's helping at that moment, but I know if I want certain things to change, I would have to open up to that idea of... 
confronting but it's just square like I don't know if y'all saying that but <laughs> confronting the actual problems or like I said but some people can't confront certain things for whatever reason but if it's a person you need to confront you can do that or like I said if you can't because for obvious reason like they might pass away or I guess it might be even serious, more serious as somebody actually did something to you and you don't know who they were. It could be any reason, but like I said, the best thing is to talk to somebody. Some people even write in their diaries, like if you have a diary, like bring that back. You know, some people don't know. Like some things it's really presentable, you know what I'm saying? Like you can, you know, like don't be so quick to get on medication because it's so easy to get on medication not saying like that like if you are like if anybody's watching i'm not saying that like it's bad but i feel like some stuff you don't even have to do if when you can just be in front of the the thing or that caused it like some stuff like you can just actually just i don't know if i don't know if y'all get what i'm saying but it's like why when you can actually just you know so if you can so yeah um, I don't know if that was, like, really advice, but, but, yeah, I'm just saying, like, do what makes you happy. Like I said, like, even going outside, maybe getting some fresh air, like, that's very much helpful. Any day, um, being around loved ones, if you got any, things like that. Um, what's up, like, house? Do I want to collab with anybody? I would love to collab with somebody. Like, I actually have on my old page, I collabed with um, one person. But I would love to collab with more than one person. Like, that was cool collabing with them. I actually talk to them still to this day. But it's like, I don't want it to be, like, dry. Like, we're like, okay. I don't know anybody else or to collab. Like, you know. Like, I love interacting with people. That's one of the reasons why I did this. Um, so, you know. Because, yeah. Anybody watching this wants to collab? Let's do it. Why not? Um. Hmm. I don't want to keep it up too long. Because I'm kind of long. Oh my god, I just didn't keep that in my mouth. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Okay, I think on top of my head. If you guys want me to make another Q&A, just let me know. Um. Oh my gosh, why did I? <laughs> it literally just fell on the floor. I don't know if you guys are going to be here. <laughs> the shrimp just fell on the floor, y'all. But anyway. Um, if y'all want a new one, another one, and then just let me know. Comment below questions um, that you would want to want me to answer. They can be kind of juicy. I don't care if it don't make the video. It was a little too much, but um, yeah. Let me know in the comment section, and I'm just gonna say thank you again all the new supporters and stuff so without you guys i don't even have what i have now so thank you and yeah i hope you guys stay safe out there um a lot of hurricanes and all that stuff going on like in florida we're preparing now for all that so i hope everybody be safe out there and stuff I hate Puerto Rico and I heard it pretty bad so just send prayers to all the people that has been affected so far but um yeah just wanted to mention that and yeah if you're not in that area where you know you're going through any of that you know just still stay safe and take care of yourself and like I said if you're going anything 
you know, find somebody you can talk to or find something that will keep you focused on the positive stuff, things that you can change, your, your past stuff you can't change, so and then move forward. Okay? So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah. Can't wait till a new video comes up and you guys can watch it. I don't know what it's gonna be, but we'll see together. And yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for watching this again. I know this is gonna be the longest, but I hope you guys watch it through. And yeah, comment down below. Oh my god, please.